if you're ready for this. Gonna be fun. You will not stand in my way. Frostborn. Hunger. This pleases me. I do not fear you, mortal. Your soul shall be mine. Don't make me laugh. Are you the boot? Oh, I do feel a shredding, baby. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Whoa. All right. He's back. He's back. back. Hello, everyone. Good evening and welcome to the 85th episode of the Next Trolls podcast, a, a podcast all about Here's the Storm, part of the Trolls.gg Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Goon Hots, and as always, I am joined by Aramis and Sokin. Boys, how are you guys doing? Doing all right. How's everybody else doing? Hey, what's up? I am sweating profusely right now because it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot in San Diego right it now. It is hot. It's hot where yeah. I'm at. It is very hot where I'm at. Um, it's not fun. I built a computer today just in the heat, just sweating. Ugh. Making the oh. sacrifice, you know, to the gods. The computer come out. Great. I can now have people over and just just uh, play, just land it up at my place. You can see the computer right here and right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There. So, oh my God, are you a gamer? Is that what that means? You're a gamer. <laughs> you a gamer? Uh, that's funny. No, that's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Working, tired, but we we here. We're doing it. We do it live every week because that's what we do here at the Nexus Trolls. Um, played some games today. Streamed for a little bit. Uh, you know, suffered through Hero League. <laughs> But uh, no, it, it was nice. It was good. Good week. A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about this week. But yeah. but before we get into that, I just want to go ahead and shill out the Patreon real quick. Patreon.com slash TrollsGG. If you enjoy the content that we at the Nexus Trolls put on, as well as Trolling HGC or any of our writers, any of the writers associated with the Trolls.GG Entertainment Network, you can go to the website trolls. Patreon. Com slash trolls. Gg. Drop a couple bucks if you got the uh, if you got the spare change. If not, that's fine too. You showing up here each and every week is is just as good. Just as good. It can be as low as a dollar. So yeah. If yeah. you even feel like throwing that at us, we will gladly appreciate it. And we want to thank our our uh, chieftains, uh, Super Dave and Preston, and our war chief. Uh, we do have a war chief, <laughs> however, it's like bugged right now, and <laughs> he he put in the the required amount, twenty dollar donation. However, it's like not giving him the status <laughs> on Patreon, so it's not like not showing up properly. We're working on it. We're working on it. It'll be it'll be fixed. It'll be fixed. But we really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, and again, we're currently at sixty six dollars of our seventy five dollar a month goal. Once we get to the seventy-five dollar month or seventy-five dollar goal, um, we unlock the coaching between RMS and myself. So, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Um, and yeah, Patreon.com again, Patreon.com/slash/trolls/gg. But we got a lot to talk about. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna keep you guys uh, waiting. We're gonna go ahead and uh, move. Right into our, uh, right into the news, right into the news. One second here. Someday, this will make a great story. Uh, so again, news, BlizzCon ticket giveaway is still going on for Trolls GG. Uh, if you're interested, we have a single BlizzCon ticket that we're looking to give away to the community, to one luck, one lucky person in the community. Unfortunately, not everybody can have this BlizzCon ticket. Um, but <laughs> you can go to twitter.com slash trolls gg look at the pinned tweet on the trolls gg and it's there it tells you all how to do it uh, how to how to apply how to put in for the the ticket and then we're going to be announcing our winner next week on the 10th of july on troll and hgc podcast so uh stay tuned stay tuned for that uh and last and trolls gg is also expanding they're adding a new show a new podcast it's a Fortnite podcast, Fortnite trolling, yeah. Fortnite. Wowzer. I know, I know. Uh, so if you're interested in Fortnite and uh, interested in seeing what what else is coming out, uh, or you know, in that in that realm, tune into that. More information to come down the line. 
Uh, and again, TrollZG is also hiring over the next uh, week now, this next week, one more week, they're going to be um, posting, they're going to be picking people up for the website, some website jobs for writers, editors, layout people, and website admins. But yeah, cool. Now, the next bit of news, the most important bit of news outside of what's going on in the Nexus, Bush League Season 2. Coming Let's soon. go. Coming soon. It starts the 5th of August next month. And as of today, we have filled every single one of the team slots. Eight, nice. teams, eight teams will be participating. However, if you are interested and you do want to play, uh, have the, pot the possibility of playing, Sign up as a sub, free agent. People are always looking. You know, there's what always do you sign up as a sub. Sign up as a sub. Where do you sign up as a sub? On the Bush League Discord. Uh, the link, yes. the descri uh, the link is in the show notes as well. You can also go to the website bushleague.trolls.gg and you can get to the the Discord to the website there as well. Um, but yeah, do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Um, from last season, you know, based on off, off of how last season went, there were you know several people that couldn't make it to the games, um, you know, throughout the throughout the week. So they were always picking up subs, and sometimes they even picked up subs from other teams. Like a team would play, <laughs> yeah. and then they were done, and then one of those players would sub for their, the team. Like Grizzly played, played two, Grizzly played two games in a row. I remember Zunicorn played two games in a row. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> hey, it happens. There's a lot of people yeah. there, and you know, take your pick, ranging from masters all the way to the bronzes. So everyone's there. But yeah, it's gonna be a good season. Again, we start on the fifth of August. Um, and we talked about some of the rules last week, but just to kind of reiterate a little bit, um, the casters get to choose the maps. First pick is done at random coin toss in the game. We just start up the lobby. I press go. Somebody's picking and that's it. So make sure you have all of the maps well practiced. Let's just say that. All right. And let's just say bribes are accepted bribes are if you you want an edge throw in some bribes that's all i'm gonna say about that but uh ooh, and again uh i know we talked about this last week but keep in mind twitch drops are still going hell yeah go to follow your favorite stream go watch your favorite stream earn those twitch drops in game and uh get those skins i got a orc johanna skin out of nice. a Twitch box, yeah, out, out, out of one of those Twitch drops, uh, as as well, and I, I've gotten a bunch of shards because I kind of have a lot of the stuff already. It's funny when I want something out of a big event, I always get a bunch of like random sprays and portraits that I don't want, and then once those events are over, I'm always getting the shards. I'm always getting duplicates and always getting shards. So I can never get anything with shards during those big events. It's really annoying. I know this is just kind of like the system, man. There's so many, there's so many sprays and so many like, like emotes and everything that it just, the chance of you getting something like a skin that you don't have, okay, the chance of you getting a skin, let alone a skin that you don't have, is very low. So, and yeah. someone did the statistics recently. Out of like 200 loot boxes, they opened them all, and it was like, you have a 99% chance of getting a common, in 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 this in one chest. Like you're gonna get a common, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> at least one common, at least. I mean, I get so. three typically on yeah. average, right? It's three, so. Yeah. But <clears throat> hey, Blizzard's got to make money somehow. Cool. All right. So that's the news. Um, all the nifty little things coming up. There are there obviously there's also other news that have that has been announced that is happening in game. However. We're going to go ahead and, uh, we added that to the Troll the Nexus, which we're going to get into right now. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. So first things first, I just want to say, those new skins that are coming out, the War Chrome event, whatever. Raiders of War Chrome. They're so nice. Dude. They're some uh, of the nicest skins that have come out so far. Which one's your favorite skin that you've seen? <sighs> I like the Rainer ones that are coming out. I like the Rainer wait, one too. Do you, wait, you mean overall, like just generally speaking, or are you talking about the, uh, this for, for the this... for the new the new event that's happening? Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, I 
of course, everyone likes the Rainer skin. That's a given. I think that's pretty much universal. Yeah. Um, I actually liked the Nazebo skin. I, it was about time he got something new, and this fits perfectly because you know he's like, what was it? He was holding. He has like a like a like this weird like. Um, it's almost like a chainsaw, but it's like a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then, yeah. and then he's holding like some kind of mechanical head. It's so great. It's it's perfect. I love that. I like the Asmodan one because it's just weird. It, it's totally. It's that guy with the mask in the uh, in the Mad Max movie, right? It's the main guy, the main villain. I guess, I <clears> guess, <throat> but like he's like his his legs are, or his feet are wheels or something. <laughs> no, they're spikes. <laughs> they're, they're spider. Oh, spike okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. like, this is bizarre i like that one i i like the rainer one the most i think it looks really interesting uh, yeah they went like you could tell the the designers were like okay we're we're going all out with this one yeah next mania no this is we're taking it to the next <laughs> with this I, one. i'm just happy because like uh they introduce all these different skins that kind of hint at different like universes right so you have like the space lord leork skin and the star princess leeming kind of go together but they didn't have an event on that and like they released garrosh with that skin and they didn't have an event on that either and now they're finally getting to it i love it i think it's great yeah for me like i was i'm super excited however i'm also very disappointed because i know all those skins are going to be banned in hgc and in heroes hype and in open division because they have too many effects people don't recognize who the hero is based off the skin it causes a lot of yeah. confusion and i'm sure there's going to be some bug associated with one of those skins or something like that where <laughs> an animation looks weird or is canceled or is shortened and people got to baby rage about it but yeah the mount's still super cool and that'll be able to be used the mounts yes yeah yes yeah well to be fair about the effects we still can't see kalethos's circle on sky temple for that skin, the, um, yeah. the superhero skin. Like, you still can't see the Thunderhawk it. Thunderhawk one. Yeah, Thunder Cyberhawk KT. Yeah. You try and use his uh, Q, and you can't see it on Sky Temple. So you like, even damage, to this like, day. Why'd I die? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nabby, Nabby is saying that Rainer might be allowed, and that Asma and the Zebo might have a chance to be in, because they have a very unique silhouette. Um... I'm just oh, okay. going to say this. We're going to see a lot of Asmodans. We're going to see a lot of Nazebos, And we're going to see a lot of Raiders in our games. It's going to be painful. Dude, you're going to see me with Rainer. I'm going to freaking first pick Rainer every game, man. I'm going oof, all out. Oof. All 10 placements as Rainer. Hell yeah, dude. And I don't it, care. And if so, you can't, Rainer. And it, Tank Rainer. And if you can't pick him, somebody else picks him. Alt F4. Go back in. <laughs> Alt F4, I just dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Raider only, thank you, team. But yeah, Raiders of Workroom. I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. I'm excited. Uh, the coolest the coolest. Do you think there's gonna be like a brawl? No, there's not gonna be a brawl, right? Because there's a new brawl that just came out. No, I, actually. No, no, this one's not very new. This one's yeah. Not new. Okay. It'll probably be a new one by the time the event starts. Yeah, you think there'd be like a new brawl that that week, or like there's something else happening, or some quest? They didn't announce a quest, right? It's just a skin drop. I doubt it'll be a quest. I just think it'll be. They could possibly have a brawl. I mean, they put so much into like the video and the um, and the skins already that who knows if they had time to do anything like that. Yeah, but it's always nice when they have the theme, you know, the brawl with the the event. Yeah. I hope there's like another escape Braxis type event for this. That'd be oh, awesome. oh, yeah, that would make me really happy. Escape the Thunderdome, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah the exactly. Dome, yes, uh, that'd be that'd be kind of cool, actually. Hmm, thinking or like some racing. Like remember what they did with the with the Lunar New Year, with the Chinese the yeah the Lunar New Year or whatever, and you had like they had that Mario Kart event thing where everyone's riding on the rockets. Did you guys do that, <laughs> that brawl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the something like racing. yeah, good. yeah, yeah. They have something like that, except for it's like you gotta like blow each other up with your vehicles, like crash into shoot each other, and like the last man standing is is victorious. You know, but I don't know. That could be cool. Yeah, I wonder cool. how it would be different. I, I like the I like the ones that are like different. The only thing I didn't like about Rocket Ride is every hero is the same. Like I want something like that, but like, yeah, you can see abilities. Yeah, yeah, and they like you picked up the power up or whatever, and like that yeah, was about exactly. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. But, anyways, moving on. We're all excited about skins, but more importantly, I uh, I think we're more excited about these 
ranked changes that are Thank God. that are actually before I before I get into that, I just I also I do want to mention that Alterac Pass did get a balance change this past week. Yeah. Um they they lowered the, the scaling, the amount of scaling that the objective gets. No longer is it ten percent per objective, right? So the first one gave you ten percent attack damage and movement speed. The second one was 20, 30, so on and so forth. Now it's just, I thought it was still the same. I thought they just the removed the 10% armor that you give when you stand in the circle. You, oh, you used okay, to give okay, the okay. armor. Yeah, you used to give the armor to the objective uh, minion guy. But Why like, did they, he have they removed armor? that, which I agree with. It was brutal. They would just five mana lane, and that was it. It was over. Yeah. I don't know five mana keep. Real bad. I don't know why they gave, gave that armor. But yeah, um, they also... Hang on, let me pull up the... Uh, the, the balance change here, but didn't they increase the amount of health the the general has? No, they reduced. Oh, they reduced it by four thousand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They reduced but, it. But by... he scales now or something. Yeah, yeah. But he scales. Yeah. He gains four hundred five maximum health every minute until minute twenty one. You know, I kind of don't understand that one. Do you? It just basically says that at the twenty minute mark, he'll have twenty four thousand health. No, but I know, but. They... No, no, he'll have more than that. I calculated that. It actually is like twenty eight thousand or so. Okay. Um, when you you know, basically four hundred five every minute. I think so it, I think 20. it stops getting it. He stops getting HP after minute twenty one. So he doesn't well, yeah, like keep. Stop getting help. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't keep going up. But what I'm asking is like, what is the balance reason for this? Just so that it's it goes up uh, like higher than it used to be at the end of the game, but then. Maybe? I don't know. That's a little confusing to me. Yeah, I don't know. Because the problem was not that it was ending too late. It was that it was ending too early. So lowering it, the early yeah. game at high speed HP kind of confused me, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. It hasn't really it doesn't really mean anything yet, I feel. Um, they reduced the HP of the cavalry from 10,000 to 8,000 health, um, which I think is good. Those things were really, really hard to kill. Um, they reduced yeah. or they increased the health scaling by 19%. The damage reduced from 85 to 65, and damage scaling is increased by 22%. Uh, and then the Reaver minions, which are like essentially the catapults for that map, uh, the damage scaling was increased by 50%. So they actually hit hard in the late game. I don't know. I felt like they already did a lot. <laughs> I felt like they I felt like they tanked a lot of damage. I, I felt like. I didn't feel like they did too much damage, but... But the point is, though, that, I mean, they're going to get stuff to your core so quick already, just by being there. Yeah. I, I, I felt like it was pretty oppressive. Those Reaver minions, they stack up really hard. Like, usually, by the time it gets to your core, there's, like, three or four of them. That's true. Three or yeah. four, not, like, one or two, like a catapult, <laughs> mm. you know? They hurt. I don't know. It's kind of brutal. Yeah, I, I like I like how they didn't flat out nerf everything in this patch too. I feel like whenever there's balance changes, they're like, "Oh, let's just nerf everything," and then it just makes it equally unbalanced in a different way. Yeah, um, or let's, buff everything. Yeah, I like how they like did a little bit of both here, just to try and find like a good medium. Yeah, I, I'm I'm liking I'm liking the map more. I'll I'll yeah. say that I'm liking the map more. I, at first, it was like, Ugh. I mean, yeah, there's still some like. They win the first objective, so okay. On Infernal Shrines, you win the Punisher. Usually, you get Fort Wall, the two towers, the gate, maybe the well, and the well. Right? You're not really getting the whole fort down. However, with this one, you're getting the like a lot of times you're getting that fort down, which I don't necessarily like. I want to see more, like Tomb of the Spider Queen. You got the wave. You got all the walls from all the lanes, but you didn't necessarily get a fort unless people were feeding. Yeah. And then you got the fort, right? Then, okay, they're making mistakes. We're capitalizing on those mistakes, and we're able to get a fort. Not just baseline, you lose a fort because you lost the objective. But it kind of seems like like that's – I'm not trying to say that they're doing things wrong or whatever, but it kind of seems like that's where the direction Blizzard is going with all the new maps and all the changes. Because, like, Full Sky, for instance, like, usually – um, in my games, at least, Volskaya, I get two walls and a fort. Yeah. The first objective. But I'm lo I'm lower level, but still. Two walls and a fort? That's insane. That's a Dude, lot. It's it can be it can snowball so hard, and I feel like th that's this is where that this is at too, right? It's like if you have everyone playing optimally, yeah, you're right. You should only get maybe three walls, but you're gonna lose in the end of the day probably three walls and a fort. 
Yeah. Probably. Hmm. It's a little snowball-y, I feel. At least maybe, it's, I mean, th there's still the chance that we haven't figured it out yet. And, you know, we're still doing quick matches in unranked, so we don't really fully draft for these things. Um, right. People don't know where to go. So it's like, there's still that aspect to it. So we can still give it some time before we conclude anything. But I still feel like it's really hard. Like, you and I just played a game earlier, right? It was so hard to defend that. I was Chromie, which is not the best wave clear hero, but still, it took me like a literal minute to yeah. just to clear that thing. Yeah. It's crazy. So, so then, like, let's say you do see a five man push happening in one lane. Do you just ignore the other two lanes and defend that push, or do you soak the other two lanes? Like, what's the, yeah. what do you think the play is there? depends on your comp honestly like if you have a better team fighting comp it's probably better to just go as five and like attempt before something and clear it otherwise and like how far behind you are like if you're really far behind you need to soak the other two lanes you don't have a choice yeah like, if you're a little bit ahead it's probably better to stop the push to prevent them from getting structures and, and like, catching back catching up. up yeah but, like if, if you're even it really just depends on how much wave clear you have. Like, if you can clear it quickly and get down there to stop the push, then do so. But, like, if you don't have fast clear, you have to respond and just give up the other two lanes because of how much the objectives hurt now, especially Vosky and, like, yeah. for Alterac Pass. Um, do, still Alterac like, Pass. It, does of. anyone else feel like this map is deceivingly big? Like, I never felt like it was too big when I, like, walked across it, but, like, practically like when i'm in the game i feel it feels starting to feel like it takes me forever to rotate i don't know I like it doesn't feel like curse hollow to me right it feels more like maybe yeah. infernal shrines yeah I yeah would, i would agree with that maybe a little bit bigger um just because like some of those the the pathways in between the lanes are much wider there's much more open area um hmm no, well, it doesn't feel that big to me, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I like the size, honestly. Like, I'm I'm a fan of where it sits. Like, it's in between being, like, really, really big and, like, a medium-sized map. Yeah. But, like, I feel like rotations are, like, just enough to where, like, especially for Hero League, when you notice people making mistakes, it's not like the rotations are so long that it's punishing when somebody messes up. But it's also not that short that it doesn't make a difference if somebody makes a mistake. It's not like a tomb where it's like, oh, somebody messed up, they'll be back in lane in two seconds. Right, right. Yeah. It's still yeah. like, hey, a mistake was made, you're going to lose something for it, but you're not going to lose so much because of it. I figured out what it is. Okay, I just thought about it. So it's not... So the length going north and south is actually not bad. And that, But what I'm feeling, I think, actually, is going le is going east to west or west to east, right? Yeah. Like you said, yeah. right? That actually just clicked in my mind that the the map is a long map. It's it's longer, but it's not as as tall, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's what it is. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, going back real quick to you know whether you defend or clear with the map that Sokin and I play, we lost the first objective. They got the fort down. However, uh, I soaked bottom and Sokin soaked top, while our while our three man defended with the the keep wall essentially mid. Uh, and even though we lost the fort and some towers, we were still pretty close in XP. I'd say maybe like we were probably like a third of a level behind um, after that first objective. So I'm I'm thinking if maybe the the cavalry units or whatever give a lot of XP when they die to kind of recoup that that you know that lost. Or to kind of, I guess, make up for the, the, the structural damage you receive. Maybe they drop more XP. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. I need to, I need to like, actually go back and, and pay attention to that. But. Yeah. The, the thing I think universally we can agree on is that you just, you need it. <coughs> Sorry. You need an anti-siege hero no matter what. Because they're going to get sieged. And sometimes it's going to be a five-man. And you need a hero that can stop or deter the siege that's about to come at you at the objective because you're going to lose one of the objectives yeah at some point probably yeah yeah so i mean like kind of like braxis right you know you kind of want you need some wave players so like your gul'dan yeah. your jaina keltas or whatever you know your hanza with q you know with a q at four or whatever but yeah okay cool um definitely definitely 
interesting interested to see how this plays out in, in here league and um for me I'm, I'm very interested to see how the pros you know how they start talking about the map how they start playing the map even <coughs> excuse me like yeah we'll see it in hgc however we'll be seeing a lot of it also on their streams and they can be talking a lot about how the map is played so there's a lot of a lot of good information that's going to be disseminated uh and through those channels uh yeah. that, that i'm interested in, in in hearing so so we're gonna let, let's move on but just real quick before that i want to ask you guys with the way that they dealt with this map, do you guys agree or, or like or dislike the way they did it? So how they did it this time compared to like, let's say Hanamura, Hanamura before was like, okay, you're on PTR and then, oh, we're releasing the map and it's going to all the modes. And it's like, oh my God, week one, what do we do to this map? And then this time it's like, okay, you actually have time to play it. Um, they can do some balance changes. Do you feel like this was the right way or do you, cause some people are saying it's a little slow. Like they want to play it in Hero League right now. Um. I think this is fine. I think it's better this way. Like, yeah, you know, it's slow. We can't play it in Hero League, but, you know, we can play the new hero right away. Whereas in other games, the new hero is locked from ranked play for, you know, two weeks or something, right? Um, I think being able to collect the data from Quick Match and Unranked Draft and um, other like the other casual modes where... The sh there's just a sheer there's just more games being played in those modes than in hero league yeah um getting That's that point. getting that information is is really nice so that when you do go into hero league and it, it is in a more competitive environment it doesn't feel as cheesy when you know a, a certain strat is found you know like the whole sylvana yeah. split push with asanana or whatever yeah but i agree uh, i think it was think a great way to put out a map I, I really hope they do this with every map from now on yeah, I like the pacing of it. I think, like, if the HCC players decide, hey, it should be an HCC map, that's when you should be like, all right, let's put it into ranked, like, next patch. So, honestly, I think that's what determines what should be a ranked map. Like, if you're playing it in the professional play, your league's, like, the step before that. Like, and all it, the players that are getting picked up for, like, amateur division, they're all yeah. GM here leagues. You're not going to find, like, a gold player being like, I'm going to make HCC next. Like, those GM players, like, trying to get to that level, and that's the mode where you're going to be doing that. So I think that it should be the HTC map pool. But before it is, like, keep it unranked. Keep it where it is now. Yeah, and, and this is a different conversation entirely, but I do think that your competitive mode should mirror that of the highest level of play that exists for your game. Yeah. Yeah, so, agreed. We all agree on that. Yeah. So, I mean, it, I don't want to see Haunted Minds in Hero League or in Team League if the pros aren't playing in HTC. Like, 100%. Yep. Shouldn't. It shouldn't be that way, but... All right. Anyways, moving on. Let's move on. Move on. Speaking of ranked play, um, a bunch of new information... Well, a bunch of information has come out for the new Hero League, the new ranked season, Hero League, Team League. Um, I, but I think this is... this is A lot of this information is aimed specifically at Hero League because, you know, a lot of people do play Hero League more so than Team League. Um, first thing... The, uh, so the new season starts next week, right? Next Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, third hero ban is being added to all draft modes as part of the initial ban phase. So oh, real quick, real quick. All, so they initially said Ju July 11th, and that was Wednesday. Now they kind of yeah. indicate July 13th. So we're really not sure what time in this week. I think they just wanted to give themselves some time. So it could be any time next week, and they'll announce that. Yeah, when I'm it assuming it's gonna be Tuesday. It normally, well, yeah, is. but they said July 13th, so it's like, yeah, that's the end of the week. So what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. When does this rank season end? It's supposed to be. It's Tuesday. supposed, to, supposed to, to. Yeah, it's supposed to end Tuesday. Whenever this new rank yeah. stuff takes place, uh, I think it will take place after. I. I Part of me thinks is going to take place after maybe on Wednesday at the at the latest or at the earliest Tuesday morning or afternoon or something. I think it's going to take place right after the bulk of the open open division stuff has ended because they're playing on um, tournament realm, which is the current patch that we're on now. Um, yeah. So next mm -hmm. week they're playing on that same patch. They're playing on the patch that we have now with the two bands. 
um, the Alterac changes, even though the Alterac's not you know on the on the list, um, the Urel buff, all that stuff is going to be on the open division next week, and yeah. then the following week they will have. A, I'm hoping they have the third ban. They haven't said anything I'm, yet, but I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm thinking it's all going to be that Tuesday, just because I feel like people are going to complain if the rank season starts and people like rush through their placements and do all that stuff mm-hmm. before those effects come in place. And like for players who maybe haven't played in a while or things like that, they'll lose that penalty that they could be getting for being considered inactive. No, but right. what I'm saying is I think they're just going to delay the new season until until the end of the week. I think they're That's just straight up going to delay it. Weekend yeah. Hero League placements, boys. <laughs> Whoa. Monka S. Um, so Browser. the third band, the third band is taking place. Uh, each, I, I think it's each team bans two heroes right off the bat, and then you do your first bit, your first pick phase, and then you ban one more hero after that, and then your last pick phases. So That's two what it sounds like two heroes off the bat, one hero after that first phase. Um, we were screaming already, anticipating with the third bands until. Uh, the open division guys said, "Hey, it's still two bands," and then we went back to two band phase. But so we're, like, we're already kind of like prepared for that. A lot of Genji bands, Maev band, a lot of early Malfurions and uh, things like that. By the way, how do you guys feel about this third band incoming? I I think it's going to be I good. I like it a lot. I can't wait. I cannot wait, dude. There there has been too. There's been too many times recently in recent memory where it's like, there's this really really hard character to counter. And if we don't ban it, they're going to get it. Like Genji, for instance. Hanzo but, on BOE. But there's this broken hero because there's something wrong with this patch, and I need to ban one of them. What do I do? Yeah, so now it's yeah. like you, you, have, you can do both if you want, which is nice. Yeah, that are your teammates. Like, I'm insistent on picking XYZ character, and you have to ban something or that person's going to get countered hard and die consistently. Yeah. And it's like, do I ban that or Genji, who's also just going to kill everybody? Yeah. So <laughs> now you can solve both problems. Like, now you can ban Chromie too. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, the way I look at it from my perspective, I'm excited to see how the support prioritizations in meta kind of where that kind of lands because Malfurion is insane. I think Rhaegar is up there. It is pretty close and at least for in hero league and i see my free bands i've seen some regar bands uh and then now that opens up you know decker kane is really strong you know maybe he gets banned okay now we have room for a brightwing or an alex Straza, or do we even Dude, ban support so we don't get choked out and then get wouldn't stuck it be with crazy Lili? if the first four bands were all supports and then both like you ended up with like an like a alex Straza lucio <laughs> like every game <laughs> it, could ha- oh, it could happen it could happen. i know and then, yeah, awesome. and now, now this kind of forces your team to actually have to think about what they're drafting more. Now it's yeah. just not like, okay, just ban four heroes that are just OP. Here's, here's a Genji ban. Here's a Garrosh ban. All right, and then the next bans are usually something that will counter you. Oh, here's a Chromie ban because we don't like Chromie. And here's a whatever. But now it's like, okay, we have all these bans. We, we ban these first four heroes. We have our draft, the core of our draft set up. This guy's showing this. I need to ban something that might counter that or might counter me or whatever. So, it's uh, good. Sasa, Sasa in chat says no more Nazebo and Asmodean first picks anymore because you can ban both. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he has a personal vendetta against Nazebo and Asmodean. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, excited about that. Excited about that. Uh, what Making else? King in Hero League. Oh, okay. also <laughs> because. Because this new third band, they're increasing the amount of heroes you need to have at level 5 and above, from 14 to 16. So it's no longer 14, you know, heroes at level 5. Now it's 16 heroes at level 5. Um, that way, you to ensure players will always have a hero available if they pick last. So, um, yeah. The next bit that I am very excited about, to see how this works out. Diamond Master and Grand Master Hero League players who have placed in the current season but haven't completed any games in a while will be considered inactive. Now, I don't necessarily know how long a while is, 
But for me, it's like, okay, these guys placed, they played their 10 placements at the beginning of the season. Stop playing. There's Literally. a table. There's a table in that, in that Is page. It? So it tells, yeah, it says yep. in, inactive days. Oh, so it's inactive. I guess you're right, huh? Because there's inactive days before decay. So you become inactive mm -hmm. and then you have like 20 days in diamond and then you become decaying. So it's like, yeah, you're right. What is that actually? Now that you mentioned that. I, and, then I they, and then they have these grace period days, right? Like, what does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. It, but, it's not very well defined. They just give you a general idea so far, I guess. Well, yeah, it says you could earn grace period days by playing like a bunch of matches during the current season. So I'm assuming it's like if you have 500 games played in like a few weeks and then you go inactive for a month on a vacation, very long vacation, it's going to give you those grace period days because you played so much that they know you're not going to like lose everything you've learned that quick. Versus if you're like, hey, I'm going to play 10 games, take a 30-day break, come back, play 10 games, take a 30-day break. It's like, all right, you're not getting that grace period. You need to play more consistently to like earn that time. Yeah. Is what it's, is what it's reading like. But it sounds like if you're a player who just hasn't touched the game whatsoever and you're currently in master and you stop playing, you're going to decay after those 15 days. And you're not going to get grace period. Yeah. Versus somebody who's level 3,000 and played 100 has 25 days before they'll decay. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how annoying, annoying this is going to be for players because uh, there was a lot of complaints about this in StarCraft 2. Like, this is where this originated from. Um, tell, me, tell me about the StarCraft 2 dilemma. Well, the main thing is just that, and, and they kind of had this now, this, this similar idea. But they, this is how the evolution has gone. So they in, enacted something like this in StarCraft 2. is basically the same thing. Um, they want because they want you to play. They want you to be active. And then people just were stopping to play. Like they thought it was too much of like a, a chore. You know what I mean? Um, then <clears throat> they took it all out altogether, and it's completely gone. It's like you play when you want to play. Um, if you just if you're a diamond and you stop playing, you come back. You're probably going to lose a lot of games. And that's kind of where we're at right now, right? And um, then they basically said, okay, now forget all that. GM players, you need to play X amount of games. It's like a similar thing, right? It's like X amount of games per uh, per week, because we want you, we want GM act, uh, players to not just place and be like 6K MMR in StarCraft. StarCraft shows their MMR, by the way. Um, it's be 6K and then just never move and just always be GM, right? Yeah. And then even better than that, they've implemented something on StarCraft where you have what's called contender at, on GM where the top of master and the bottom of gm basically have this battle to duke it out for who gets to like enter gm right which is a lot more cool Ooh. yeah so it's pretty sick and I, and I really hope you know i've already posted this on the twitter for uh, on twitter for blizzard to see on their official post but there's there's two things i want to see i want to see this pulled over from starcraft i want to see this contender thing which i haven't men mentioned i guess on twitter but the thing i did mention is I want master players to be forced on best match. And we can go into that later. But... Yes. Yes. I, I can agree with that. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, we can talk about that. We'll talk about that later. But th those are two things that I think that in StarCraft they have that are really great that I would like to see additional to the things that they're doing right now. Okay. Yeah. That would be good. I think what you were saying too with StarCraft, like not having ranked decay at all, I think if it's for an individual game, I think it's kind of okay. Because yeah. as an individual, like you control whether you want to lose or win those games. But I think for a team game, when I have somebody come on who hasn't played in four seasons, there's a 50-50 chance <laughs> that they're really good. Like guy who came back and played a few games ago was fine. Like he was like playing in like low master games mm -hmm. and roll stomps. He had like an 80% win rate. It was great. Like yeah, he hadn't played in a while, but he still remembered what to do. So for oh, him, okay. maybe it doesn't matter. But then That's there's cool. other players who come and they're like, I was at school for eight months. Come back and I'm like, okay, like. You're just running it down top with Butcher. <laughs> well, or like, or they're like, "Hey, is like X Y Z hero still meta?" And I'm like, no, "Yeah, hero hasn't been meta in like a while." Or or, or even like okay, like 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 what they're saying here with this initial with this initial statement. Um, you get these people that play at the beginning of the season. They play their ten games. They place Master Ten K or Master One Thousand. Oh, Ten K! Yeah, I know. Right? They, they, That's they, the they, new placement, by the way. They 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 place Master One K. Oh. Stop playing. And at the time, maybe Keltos was like the hot. And then you know these seasons last over the course of a few months. 
they come and so much changes in this game in in this game during that time. They come back and they they still think Keltas is like the meta when now it's Jaina because Keltas received a bunch of damage and like they don't know that because they never kept up with the patch notes. They'd come yeah. in, they'd do a brawl, they'd do some quick map, but they never really paid attention. So that that initial like gr- like that initial gaggle of people that place master or or diamond or whatever they get there within those first week that first week they're going to be considered inactive the people that, that that that's for this season so next season they're going to go in they're going to do their placements and they're going to be like what the heck why am i platinum now why am i diamond now i was i placed master 1k last season why am i here i want i went 9 and 1 well, it's because you're now considered inactive because you only played your 10 games at the beginning of the season and you never went back. And there's a lot of people that do that. I've got friends that do that. Yeah, and there's so, people yeah. that are going to do this still with this patch notes coming out. They're still going to do it. And, and they're, they're not going to know. Remember. They're not going to know why it's happening. Know. Yeah, they're not going to know. So. so, I mean, which is fine. I think yeah, you, it's good. I, 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 hey, if you're good, cool, you're good. Maybe you deserve to be GM. However, I think that the most dedicated players – whether that is, you know, playing the game consistently, reading patch notes, learning, studying, doing whatever. Those are the ones that you want to reward. Those are the ones that you want to encourage to keep coming back and keep grinding and making the game better at the highest levels, at their level, whatever. I think the casualization of the rank mode is, I mean, that now then that, that's why we're getting these changes now. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree I still with that 100%. Think placing- being able to play masters place masters 1k is still terrible i think that's still the one of the worst things they've ever done to this game yeah don't worry master 1k plus 50 rank adjustment will be at 50k points in a few seasons for like top <laughs> PM by the end like like i'm insane i'm master like, 3k right now and it feels like i'm like diamond four like I, i'm in diamond four games <laughs> yeah it's like it's super discouraging when i was like okay i'm at school like school ended for the summer and i was like I think at like diamond three or something like that. I'm like, all right, I'm going to try and hit GM. And then like by the time I got to master in a few weeks, because I'm still taking summer class. I'm like, oh my gosh, like GM's 11 K right now. Like, yeah. yep. not like I can do it. I'm like, okay, I could do this, but I need to dedicate a lot of time to get there. Cause even with like a 55% win rate or 56, what I'm at now, which is super high for most hero league players, like 55, 56%. I'm doing great. It's just so many games. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can and only on go that, so fast. On top of that, okay, I got into GM. I'm I'm 11k now. Guess what? To be GM number one, 30 plus k. Yeah, you have 30 to. plus k. Good luck with that. You're never hitting GM number one if you started late. Yeah, exactly. Like I think that's it's discouraging to a lot of players, and especially new players coming in. That it's like, okay, I'm a new player that maybe transferred from another game like League, where if you're like, all right, I don't want to play League anymore. I want to try a new boba. You want to play those higher level games right away because you, you're going to be able to play at that level pretty quick like if you have previous MOBA experience yeah but it's going to take you 200 300 games to get there just because of how inflated the MMR is and now like you're dissuading those other like really good or like pro players from other games to come try it out because it's like okay I'm, if, if it's going to take me a month and a half to be able to play at a level where people are going to do what I do mechanically then why am I here I might as well just keep what i'm doing going and play other games yeah i think like you should lower it or like give away for people to get up faster like if they're showing i think like personal rank will do that but i don't think they said they're going to keep it in gm or master which is a very widespread now like what is 30k points isn't that like bronze to gm <laughs> yeah i mean might as well be, right? might as well yeah. be. I, I literally Holy think I, I think or like not bronze to gm bronze to master is like master to 30k which is like nuts <laughs> so get ready to do two bronze to master climbs they need to bronze have to they need to have like copper bronze silver <laughs> plat yeah, diamond exactly. master oh. like maybe high master grandmaster or something mud right? league wood league well, exactly. It's like we're going to have, like, no personal rank adjustment for half of the spread of points in the game. Like, half the people, so all of Bronze to Master, get a personal rank adjustment, and then the other half of the points, which sits from Master to GM, can't benefit from that. So I'm, like, I'm, okay. I'm still getting 30 plus, 30, 30 points a game, yeah. p- positive personal rank adjustment. Okay. So the game thinks I'm a lot higher than where I need to be. And for what, I'm, I'm Master 3K, 
30 points a game. Actually, I'm like 229 now because I lost uh, a couple games. But I'm still getting positive 30. And I'm getting diamond one, like low diamond ones, mid diamond ones that are banning over me. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I'm at 7K. Yeah, it like happened plus, today. I'm at like 7K with a plus 32. And like, that's insane. Like, that, I'm still getting extra points. And I'm already 7K deep. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah. so they, they also said that once a player becomes inactive, they, they will receive a small amount of rank and MMR decay each day until they complete one hero league match. And they make the distinction between rank decay and MMR decay. Your MMR will decrease as well as your rank. You have master 3000 points and you haven't played. Now that's master 2,900 points, 2,800 points. And then your MMR is also decreasing with that, which I think is interesting. I don't know how many points you're going to lose. I don't know how they determine that. Yeah. Uh, your mm -hmm. MMR as well. I don't know. Um, but that is interesting. I, I, and they make that distinction that there is rank decay and MMR decay. So they got their, they got their, their eye on it. Um, Diamond, Master, and Grandmaster each have their own threshold for inactivity. Players can earn additional grace period days by regularly playing Hero League matches during the current season. They say regularly playing. I don't... They don't give a... I'm sure they don't want to tell us because they don't want people to just cheese the system, right? Maybe they just want... They're like, just play. Just play. Could be one game. Could be 20 games. Could be five. We could be zero. We're just debating you. We just want you guys to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Lose one point. Lose one point every time, every day you don't play. Uh, yeah. Inactive <laughs> inactive players can avoid decay and regain active status by playing a single Hero League match to completion. So there you go. Uh, and then I like this next topic here, uh, this next point. Ratings rather than points for Master and Grandmaster players. Master and Grandmaster level players. The Master level players they are matched with and against are now determined by skill rating and rank points no longer play a role. So now it is based on your MMR. There you go. But it still kind of is though, which is which okay. Is, yeah, but but they yeah. So then the next point. Well, the banning is determined by MMR, but they they don't right. necessarily place you in the same game based on your MMR. So. Um. So and then they also say that uh, this should provide better experiences for players of very high skill levels who start playing later in the season so maybe for individuals like rms and myself where we're getting these massive adjustments per game positive adjustments per game but we're still in like you know low master because we don't play the sheer amount of games that these other gm maybe maybe are the likelihood of us playing in a game with you know low gms or higher end masters will happen more regularly and we'll get less of those diamond games where we're obviously not supposed to be right because like you can tell the skill the knowledge difference in those games um uh what else do they say here uh this should, oh yeah these players games have allies and opponents of more consistent skill levels was which, which also match their own um and if they're doing this they might as well just show the mmr show everyone's mmr in the game that's what Nurok said he was like he was like blizzard like if you're gonna place people in the same match based on something they can't see just show them what the show them it like at that point right mm -hmm. like he's like please if you're gonna put this in there just at least show mmr as well yeah and so but, hopefully hopefully that's the thing that's gonna come though right i mean if they're doing this type of thing that's the hope is that this is on the way at some point yeah i i, I like this a lot so it's no longer based on your rank so no, no, it's no longer this guy got lucky last season and got you know he placed master 1000 points never played again and then now he's in my game again and now he's in my games, and he's completely clueless to what's going on. Uh, I had a buddy who barely played the game, played Sylvanas, went nine and one in Hero League. Uh, his Hero League placements placed in Master One K because people would feed, and he would just like, at the time, Sylvanas just take down structures with his team, and that's what he did. He's like, I had, and he was honest, like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just playing Sylvanas because I like her. And, and that was that <laughs> and then he played again the next season and he placed in silver however he was getting like huge personal rank adjustments 
um, to to get him back to where he w needed to be, but he couldn't win, and he was getting he was getting frustrated. He's like, "How come? Like I was master last season, I'm silver this season, I can't win these silver games." It's really frustrating. It's like, well, because you don't know how to win those silver games. You don't know. Maybe you're silver, or maybe you're bronze. I don't know. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, uh, what else are they saying? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, uh, players below master who have oh, oh, this is another thing match quality restrictions and notifications players below master who have waited fewer than three minutes in queue will not be placed into any matches that are outside of the game quality so yeah. no no longer like oh you just so happen to queue up there's there's nine other diamonds waiting for a game <laughs> we're just gonna put you in that game and you know good luck that's not gonna happen. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Players below master who? Okay, okay, okay I see, I see. So it's well, no, right. it's no longer. Yeah, yeah with the opposite direction. So it's no longer. Yeah. You're, you're that one plat player in an all GM game. Yeah. You know. But they did the opposite too, where. Yeah. Where like if you're a grandmaster player, like or like a master player, like I saw this on your stream, goon, where you got in it in, in a nine diamond game as master just because they needed one person and you were close enough at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that shouldn't happen either. Right. Uh, I mean, it just, they specifically say here players below master who have waited fewer than three minutes. Yeah. Um, uh, play, uh, they say they would not be placed in any matches outside of the game quality restrictions that would have been used if the match had been formed around that player and players will now receive a notification in the UI in the game that when these quality restrictions are expanded in order to help them find a match more quickly. So then once you get that notification, hey, we're expanding our parameters, you might get a shitty game here, then you can be like, I'm unclicking. I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going yeah, I I, I'm going to unready. <laughs> I'm going to unready and I'm going to re ready up. I was thinking the same thing. I was like that wait, that's maybe not good though, because then you have everyone leaving the queue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how that one's going to work out. We'll see. Uh, stricter rank difference requirements. Master and Grandmaster players will not only be matched with allies and opponents who are within one division of their own ranks. This means Master players can be matched with players who are either ranked Diamond 1 or Grandmaster, but never both. Never both. So you're either gonna have you're either gonna be in a diamond game as a master or a GM game as a master. You're not gonna have GMs and diamonds in your game. Um, grandmaster players will not be matched with players below masters. So you either be in a game with GMs or a game with masters, and that's that. This restriction will not loosen for players in Europe and North America. However, it can loosen for players in other regions after they've waited in queue for one hour. <laughs> one hour. <laughs> Rip oh A and Z. Yeah, pretty much. But I mean, that's kind of a necessity to add that uh, that exception there. Yeah. Madison, they should do shots every time Goon says, um, we're about to be drunk. We're going to be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's something I need to work on. Um... All right, I guess I lose my point. I lose my my place here. But, anyways, uh, yeah, feels bad for those regions. So not only they're the Blizzard saying, hey, you're not going, you're not going to have these rainbow games unless you wait an hour. That which you're already doing to get into a rainbow game, anyways. So, ah, oh. I mean, what didn't we, you and me, watch Fat ninety four in like a. Is like a 20 hour queue or something like that. Yeah, it was like unranked <laughs> queue or something like that. Yeah. He went to bed, left his stream running, woke up in the morning, and it was still waiting for a game. Uh, Sasa Easy in chat says, I've heard of players who queue for unranked in South America for 45 minutes and don't get a game. That's why I play on NA. He plays Central. I play early morning USA time and I do my laundry waiting for games. Yikes. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so what else are they saying? It is extremely likely. Oh, strict rating differences. Rating differences, I'm assuming, is your MMR. Master and Grandmaster players now have narrower ranges of acceptable skill ratings for the players they are matched with. For example, 
It is extremely unlikely that a top Grandmaster player will be matched with a Master who is on the cusp of demotion to Diamond. Now, is that the rank? Or is that rating? Like, okay, his MMR says he is Diamond, but he might be a Master rank. So, he won't Yeah, be... that's a good point. What are they referring to? Because they're talking about ratings, which is the MMR. Yeah. This is under rating differences, right? Yeah, yeah, rating. Mm -hmm. And the, the the topic, the point before this specifically said rank. So, again, maybe Blizzard should just make your MMR match whatever, like your rank match the MMR. If Blizzard internally good. says any person between this range MMR and this, between the, in these ranges of MMR is a diamond... Then you are diamond. You are not master with a thousand points, but in reality, the system thinks you're diamond four. And for whatever reason, when you're winning, you're getting minus 20 PRA. Why don't you just. You mean just like they do with StarCraft and Overwatch? Who would have thought? So, and that's. <laughs> not, and, and, and like, that just eliminates a lot of frustration. We get people all the time, hey, I'm winning all my games, however, I'm still getting a negative 15 PRA. Why? Oh, it's because the system thinks, the system says that you need to be down here instead of up there. Well, what the heck? I'm winning all my games. Why? Okay, maybe we need to have this discussion. Maybe Blizzard has to go back and say, all right, we're getting rid of that whole rank system. Here's your MMR. Everybody in these MMR ranges, these are your ranks. Okay, the top, the, the, the highest, the, the top 200 players with the highest MMR in the game, that's your GM 200. Of course, maybe at the beginning of the season, you put them all, you know, in diamond or something like that, and then they duke it out, and then over time, then you have your GMs, but... Yeah. I don't like the whole accumulating points thing, but... Yeah. Uh, I live in South Korea, and I played on an Asian server, and I would always have Masters in, bron in my bronze games. Whoa, okay. Damn. Yeah, you know, Asian server is kind of like... Kind of crazy. That's, well, it still makes me think, like, because in Asia they have, like, Taiwan's, you know, server, and they have, it's more like North America where they have the, a lot of the different um, servers. Mm -hmm. um, it still kind of makes me, like, it kind of points to me, points to add that issue to me. Because, like, you, the EU doesn't have this problem. Europe doesn't have this problem on theirs because they have one Europe server for all of Europe. And that's really nice. I would love to have that for North America. And I think maybe it would solve a lot of those um, ranking issues in, in Asia as well. Because I feel like there's a lot more people in Asia overall. So there should be, even if the percentage is lower, there's still a lot of people playing HOTS. And you're splitting it up into different servers from there. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. They also say that uh, if a master player is placed into a grandmaster game, it is because the player's skill rating is very similar to that of the Grandmaster players. So if, you know, your Master, for whatever reason, your Master 500 points because you play some Hero League and you, you know, you're losing down there, or like whatever, if your MMR is really high, you're still going to get into those games. Which, yeah. to so that's me... That's what we were talking about then. Yeah, which to me states... What's the point of having these this point system in Master anyways? Like, it's it's still going to be equally confusing, at least at the beginning. When all these Diamond players and all these Master players are still playing together, you're never going to be sure right away at the beginning of next season what's going on. Like, okay, am I... So am I... As a Diamond in a Master game, am I Master or are they all Diamond? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Yeah. Like that's uh, something that always confused me because that 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 kind of difference still exists on the borders between ranks. So like if you're a silver going into gold in StarCraft, sometimes they'll go against like a like a like a a mid a, um um a mid gold or something like that or like a, even a, a platinum and you'll be like wait, so is he lower or am I higher? Like I seriously don't know. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of confusing sometimes. So I think there that will lead to this this same idea at least in the beginning of the season, it will be very confusing. 
Yeah. Uh, they also there's a little a little note here. They say in this situation, the master players' rank points have not yet caught up to their rating. So. Uh, so I'm wondering if this will eliminate a lot of that, those early hero league placement games that are just wild and all love to play. Like, <laughs> will we see those GM players, like those those people that are have high? Will we off the bat see them in their placement games playing against one another? That would be kind of cool. Man, yeah, that'd be yeah. cool for them, right? I think that's kind of yeah. cool. Will that happen? I I hope so. Are they going to loosen the MMR restrictions and stuff like that? For placements, they're supposed to, so maybe they will be in Diamond Games for their uh, placement. Yeah. Cool. And that is uh, about it when it comes to the Hero League rank changes uh, updates that are that are coming. No mention of performance-based matchmaking. <laughs> so every this is to... They're addressing the highest levels of play. And I... "Quote unquote highest levels of play." I use that. You know, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. Um, the highest ranks in, in, in here's the storm. They're addressing that first, and then they're probably gonna trickle down and start. You know, okay, here's some performance based matchmaking for the plat, gold, silver, bronze range. Please, Blizzard, please. <laughs> um, but I do like this. I do like how they're prioritizing the higher ranks um, with with these changes. Not not to say that you bronze plebs don't deserve it. It's just if you want to keep the game healthy, competitive, active, yeah, you got to make yeah. sure the top is is happy. Um, I mean, they've I been needing this for a long time, honestly. Yeah, they need they need to shift they need to shift that focus from the mass to maybe we need to prioritize these guys a little bit more, and then you know, not by much, you know, just I'm just saying, like, let's prioritize them a little bit. Yeah, is there anything you guys want to just uh, you know go over or discuss as far as the uh, the rank changes are concerned? Or I like them. I mean, I think that it's a step in the right direction, especially the MMR decay. Um, I like the third ban a lot for obvious reasons. I hope they just keep working on it. Like, I hope personal rank becomes a thing. I hope like Thoken was mentioning before, and like you mentioned, like put MMR and rank is the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, just make it easy to tell. Um, so like it seems like they drop rank at the end of the season, but they don't drop MMR, and as a result, that's why there's these crazy adjustments, and that's why point values are getting so inflated, like, which is I think detrimental to the game, in the long run. Like, in the beginning, it was like okay, because it's like all right, like we could deal with it. Like points went as high as like 5k for number one GM, but I think it's having a really bad snowballing effect where it's going up by like 10k each season now. Like it's insane. Yeah. Um, like last K tw- last season twenty K was great. Now this season's thirty K is great. Like what's next season gonna be if like it keeps increasing like that? Like what is it, forty, forty five K next season? It's gonna be nuts. Um so I hope they just keep like looking at it, like keep paying attention to what people are saying, keep paying attention to how it plays out and like update accordingly. Like, and, and on I'm another like, weird note, I welcome it. I've I've heard of people that are still GM that have like a forty percent win rate. Yeah, I've seen so many people in my game. Where it's like I have two thousand games played, and they'll have like a forty nine percent win rate, and be like a little bit off within like win loss, like be like within like five or six games or so. So like it's not like they're doing that bad, but it's still real. Like it's not good. Like they shouldn't be GM fifty with right at a fifty percent win rate. Like, no, but if I'm it's saying fifty percent win rate. You shouldn't be moving. But, but I'm moving saying up. I'm saying I actually heard someone uh, heard someone on their stream found a player. That was GM that had a forty like forty one percent rate, forty one, not forty nine. That's scary and not good. Yeah, like yeah. It, that that should never happen. Like you should never be a GM winning four out of your ten games. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. So if that's the case, they got a bug there or something going on. Yeah, I mean it's just a high adjustment. Like you could be winning. Like I think right now, if I win like three games, I'm going to get six hundred ninety points. But if I lose three games, I'm only going to be losing 510. Like, I can go three and three and gain a full points worth of games, almost. Hmm. Which is I don't nuts. know how to fix this, to be honest. Yeah. Just make MMR and everything the same, and then that'll remove, like, personal MMR adjustment, and then just reset MMRs to a certain level. 
so you remove that point to where you have to have above a 50% win rate to climb and below a 50% win rate to drop. Yeah. And even 50% keeps you where you are. Like, if people are winning a lot of games, boost them up faster. And if they're losing a lot of games, push them down a little faster. But don't be like, hey, you've gotten worse or better. I can't adapt to a patch. Stayed 50-50. But because you were good 12 patches ago, you can rank up super, super quick. I think that's the biggest problem. There's still a lot of players who are riding, like, the preseason grind where they're like, oh, I was rank one preseason 80% win rate with my five stack of friends against all solos <laughs> and yeah. carried over <laughs> two and a half years later oh. that their rank adjustments higher than ever. And it's like, they don't, and like, you don't really have to do much at that point. And like, yeah, there is the players that are like super good then that are super good now that it doesn't affect, but there's still a handful of people who are definitely really, really inflated MMRs that are still a master. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they're headed in the right direction. I, you know, I think, yeah. like, like you said, Armus, the the next step is to. The next step really is to just show MR and go from there. I mean, there's no other choice because you're just gonna they're gonna start getting weird, dude. This season is gonna be the weirdest season ever, like in terms of what you're seeing and people being matched against each other. You're not gonna know why things are happening, which at least at least now weird things are happening, and most of the time we can go. Okay, well, I, that's just because I'm I'm a master 3K, even though my MMR adjustment's so high and it knows I should be in GM. I'm just with master players. Yeah. Whereas now it's going to be, oh my god, there's like five there's like five diamonds in my game. There's two masters and one GM. Does that mean we're all GM MMR? I guess so. You know, I don't know why that would happen. You know, um, it could be something like that. Well, actually, that couldn't happen because they said no, they couldn't have GM and di diamonds mixed up. So yeah. It would be, you know, you know what I'm saying. So something similar yeah. to that. Yeah, but it's still the right direction. This is still good overall, and uh, and then we're hoping next season. I'm <laughs> I'm hoping this encourages yeah. this encourages more people to play Hero League in general, and and to be consistent with it, and to really try to win, try to, try win, to win, try to win, try to improve, well, just get pick, better, man. and and really understand what's happening in this game, and you know, and make it a better game for yourself for everyone else involved um you know a lot of people get so tied up in the rank and stuff like that i've been silver a bunch of silver players and it's just like hopefully this will over time will alleviate a lot of the problems that we're having um with the matchmaking and stuff and players that are kind of just stagnant and stuff like that and just make it better overall i, I understand yeah. you do want to play with your friends it's like cool yeah Go play team league. Go play unranked. Whatever. Cool. Go do that. Um, but here league is also that I think is also that place where hey, your buddies aren't on, or maybe you don't want to play with anybody. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to sit there and talk with buddy. You just want to chill, get in that zone, and just play competitive mode. Just concentrate. Like, what do I need to do now? What yeah. Do I, what it's do, what it, do, what it's five now? individuals versus five individuals. It's yes. not unranked draft where I can I I can do that in unranked draft. Okay, you queue up by yourself. You've got a five stack on the other side, and for whatever reason, you're by yourself. And maybe there's two guys on, you know, maybe there's two parties of two, and you're by yourself, and there's a five stack on the other side. Is that, is that, I mean, are you, is that even fun? Is that even fair? Are you even having fun at that point? I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Some people. Some people, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, uh, real quick, we'll uh, Hero League report real fast. Soken, I don't think you've played Hero League. You've kind of... I have. You I have? Oh, okay, League. okay, okay. Tell me. Yeah, so I, I went on that lost streak, and I lost three in a row. And my thing is, if I, you know, for me, I know myself. Like, this is just me, right? I know myself, and I know that I have to follow this rule, the three loss rule. If I lose three in a row, I'm stopping Hero League for that day. You know, and I probably honestly won't play it for a couple more days because I will probably the tilt carries over. It's like a gradual decline <laughs> and I will eventually be good. And then eventually I'll see good streams. I'll see, you know, I'll see. Honestly, I'll see you, you goon. I'll see you playing and I'll be like, damn, this is motivating me. So I'll, I'll go and I'll and I and I got back this last week playing again. Um, I did only play two games. Uh yeah, I did only play two games. I was hoping, like, oh, I could offset some of those losses, just get two wins and just call it. Because, like, the season is so close to ending. 
I'm just like, people are just going to do placements for the next week. I know I have a friend that was just over today that's like, oh, I need to do my placement. So he's just going to go do it. Like, <laughs> and he like almost never plays, you know? So there's going to be a lot of those people. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just, I'm going to avoid that, the hit or miss type of thing. I've, I got my, I got a win and I got a loss. And it's like, eh, you know, the first game was a stomp. We got our, we got our butt stomps, butt stomped. And then uh, the second game, uh, what did I, what happened? It wasn't a, actually, I think we stomped them. So it's kind of like, it was kind of like that mindset, that, that same thing. I was like, eh, yeah. this is too weird. Like I got someone on the other side that was a placement and I was immediately like, uh, I think we have a good chance of winning this game. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, we destroyed them because they didn't draft a tank. Oh, well, there you go. Do you uh, feel you like, go. do you feel like any of the losses, the loss that you did have was because you didn't play well? Yes. Yes. That, that game where we got stomped. I don't feel like I particularly played bad per se. Um, we did not draft a good comp, but my deaths were the highest of everyone. And so I'm not going to sit there and be like, I'm never the type of person anymore to be like, well, I, I fed the most, but we didn't have a healer. It's like, I should know. <laughs> yeah. I should know that we don't have a very good healer and I should account for that in my positioning and whatnot. And my um, talents and maybe my pick or yeah. whatever, yeah. So I think I did okay overall, but I just – there was a lot of times where I was being overly aggressive thinking, thinking, oh, we can do this or whatever. But, you know, I I never got the heals because I, I should have known that, right? So it's like that type of thing. So I, I'm ending on a win-loss. Eh, you know, it's fine. I'm looking forward to next season. I'm hoping that they made some kind of changes behind the, the scenes that relate to this that somehow make it better for – people like me i mean who knows we'll find out and then i'm hoping that performance-based matchmaking comes in within like a month or so yeah and i will i will grind so hard like the second performance-based matchmaking comes out i will be i will be playing mm -hmm. hero league at least three times a week like like long sessions like pr three to four hour sessions yeah so right i'm really excited for that right rms8 with a twitch prime sub okay. <laughs> let's get it get it thanks dude yeah mm -mm. by the way that's Aramis's twitch channel you guys should go watch it sometime when when he's streaming Aramis, i saw your tomato patch in here <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah I had, I had a i had a couple things going on wasn't feeling too hot but i was like i got nothing else to do right now let's play some here <laughs> league i didn't play too hot definitely made a lot of mistakes um i had a lot of like really weird games draft wise um and play wise where it seemed like I was getting in a lot of like low masters games this week or like even mid masters games where I just didn't hear of any of the names of anybody like like who are you and like I did play at odd hours I was playing a lot more this week between like 10 a.m. Eastern and like four o'clock Eastern which is like one o'clock Pacific so it was before a lot of those other players were on like you'd have the occasional one slip through um, my game definitely played out differently than they normally do and I guess I just didn't adapt well to it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's something to take note of going forward um, for playing into that next season. Um, I'm back at like 7K now. I'm going to probably be close to 8 again tonight um, just because I'm going to grind out as much as I can before the season ends and then hopefully go for an earlier GM next season while it's still summertime. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get to do my challenge this week. Um, I was going to stream it today. Um, I had a couple things going on, so I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll be streaming a bunch Next week, I'm taking a trip back to my hometown this weekend, and then once I come back up, um, I'm going to get back into coaching and streaming again. Um, so that'll be good, and I'm going to do whatever challenge that I have this week plus last week's challenge um, during my next stream. We'll combine two and one, make it really educational. It'll be nice. Um, I'm even... I got somebody that'll help me with video editing. I'm going to try and nice. edit a bunch of the videos and throw them up on YouTube after um, oh, for cool. recaps. So I'm going to be up in my stream channel a little bit starting now in July, which will be a lot of fun. So keep updated for that. Um, yeah, here leagues have been all right. Shot calling helps. Um, playing at a consistent time each day where you'll find the same players definitely helps because, like, I know how they play. And, like, I really feel like I know how to both counter the players that I'm playing with and play with them, which I think happened because I'm so familiar with the faces I'm seeing. Like, they're not changing their play styles. And me recognizing that and adapting to it has definitely made a difference. 
um, compared to playing it like different times with different people who are, are more unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Going going back real quick to your, you know, you know, you say you weren't playing well and things like that. How much of for you? Everyone's a little bit different when it comes to you know external forces kind of dictating the way we play or changing our mindset, whatever. For you, how potent are external forces in the in the play? Like, how how much of a difference do they make in your personal play, in your decision making and stuff like that? Like, let's say you're stressed out from school or something like that. Does that carry yeah, over? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, de- it definitely carries over. Like, I notice when there's something stressing me out or something's not great, I'm like, all right, like, I'm playing. And then I notice I'll zone out a little bit or, like, Maybe just be like, oh, we're just gonna go for it, like whatever. Like, I'm not, I'm not like in like a competitive environment. Like, it's a comparison to be like really pumped up for like a game or like, um, like a sporting event you have, and like you're going out there with adrenaline, comparing to be like, you want on something, it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't care. Especially like now, it's like the end of the season too. It's like, oh, I'm probably not going for GM grind because I don't have time for the like to grind out enough games. So it's like, I'm not going for GM. I'm just playing to get better. It's like, eh, yeah, let's just try this. It's whatever. Let's do it. So it's a lot of like me saying okay i'm just gonna experiment and i go in without like a care for the win or loss and then oftentimes guess what it doesn't work like whenever you say hold my beer before you go do something it's not <laughs> working. um and that'll happen quite a few times and honestly it depends on the issue like if it's something i can brush off easy and focus more on the game it doesn't impact me but things that are a bit more stressful definitely i feel the impact in my game like i'll get lazy i'll tunnel um Sometimes I'll just be like, I'm wanting to relax, and I'm not thinking, hey, I need to call out top rotation. I need to call out mid. I need to shot call my team. Do this, do this. I'm like, you want to know something? We're going bottom lane, and whenever the tank moves, we're going to move, and whenever that timer comes up with the little objective symbol, we're going to go to that thing. Yeah. Like I kind of just like cruise and coast, which is enough to keep me like in master and perform, but it's not what's going to give me like that 60% win rate that like I'm usually averaging when I'm like, hey, like I'm ready to play. I'm coming in competitively. Yeah, it's a good. I'm point. the same dude. I, that that was my first game. The one we got stomped. I was in that same mindset. I was not totally there, and so I was kind of just autopiloting. And then that that kicked me into gear. I was like, okay, I really got to focus. Like, if I'm going to try and win these games, like yeah. for sure, I feel the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you definitely bring that up. To unranked. Yeah, definitely switch to unranked if that happens. Like, if you're not feeling it, like I a bunch of times I was like, I'm going to switch to unranked. Like, I would just hit up a couple friends, be like, let's just talk, or like even not yeah. talk and just. Play on ranked. Get out of ranked if you notice yourself doing it. It's not worth it. You'll yeah. be angry at yourself more the next day. <laughs> yeah, no, you bring up a good point. If you want to, you know, you're going to hit a zone where you're just like, okay, I'm playing consistently enough to stay where I'm at. However, if I want to get better, I need to be doing more. And how much energy am I willing to put into to doing more to climb out, to, to climb or to get better or whatever. Um, and that's something that, you know, I'm going to take for myself and, and use. Uh, when in in my games, because right now I find myself cruising. You know, and people, hey, join boys. I'm like, I don't want to right now. You know, I'll ping, I'll do whatever, I'll type it out. I just don't want to like hear that right now. I don't. I, I want to stay in my zone right now. Um, and we did have a game today where you know I was the only one not in voice comms, and we won. And I don't know what they said. I don't know what they were doing. What they were communicating didn't look like they were really communicating anything at all because they were kind of doing their own thing. So I started pinging and typing stuff out, uh, and we won. And we won handedly. So I'm like, hmm, maybe if I was in the voice comment, it would have been better. But like I, you know, I was listening to music. I was doing my thing. And then after that, I kind of just stayed off voice comm. And then actually, there was one game where I did join voice comms, but nobody said anything. Bacon was in my game with me. We lost that game hard. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I mean, it was some... Some extreme over positioning on some players, it, you know, a lot of things out of my own personal control, which yeah. is fine. Which is fine, you know. That happens. The player learn that they they learn their mistakes. It happens uh, from, from their mistakes, and it happens. But yeah, I definitely, you know, it's, I'm something that I'm gonna take into consideration when I'm doing my climbs because you know I do want to play competitively again. I do want to do that. I, I miss that and. Um, if not, if it's not playing competitively, you know, in on a team or something like that, at least in here league, I want to be competitive in here league. I want people to be like, oh, hey, that's goon. He's gonna, he's gonna, I know he's gonna try his best and and, and perform to the best of his ability, um, and help me win. But yeah, say, say what you want about Bam Bam, like whether you like him or not, right? I like him, but say say what you want if you don't like him. 
But every game in Bam Bam's games, you know, he streams for like four to six hours, maybe even eight hours every day. And Bam Bam is literally in comms every single game asking questions like, hey, guys, we're doing this. Hey, guys, we're doing that, right? He's the tank, but he's like querying his team. He's like, hey, guys, what do you want to do? And it's like, I would love it if, if my teammates did that in Hero League, you know? Yeah. Like, I want to be on yeah. the same page. I want to I want to know what we're, we're what our goal is, what we're trying to accomplish. Like, I don't want to flail around the map, like, trying to pick up my team's scraps, you know, like, oh, they're not soaking this wave. Oh, they're not doing, you know, whatever. It's like, I want to talk. I want to be like, hey, you know, Artanis, go soak the top lane real quick and then come to objective or something, you know? Like, I feel like it's really important. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. So we had a different gaining insight topic, but I think what we just talked about right there was actually pretty interesting and, and pretty enlightening. And I gained some insight from that. Um, just for, you know, old time's sake, just, just for consistency's sake, we're going to go ahead and... My mind is clear. My mind is clear. All right. We played it. <laughs> we're good we're gonna talk about some url stuff but um i don't i don't we're kind of running out of time <clears throat> running out of time here and and uh we've talked about her a lot before in the past and that was that was really good that was a really good discussion i mean is there anything else that you guys want to add to that url is better now feel oh. free to pick her it's okay all of a sudden that's yeah. all yeah she's good <laughs> she's good right she's good if you want more details yeah. Message me on Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Use your your jump a lot to damage people. But yes. yeah, Urel's not bad. You know, um, she's pretty much cemented as a solo laner now. She's very tanky, has decent damage, good wave clear. What more can you ask, right? It's yeah. Kind of like, that's what it is. Cool. All right, and for our final segment. Get good or get wrecked. Trolls challenge. We'll take it. Well, I think we'll take it pretty easy this week. Um, I know we've all got stuff going on, um, personal, professional, otherwise, whatever. Um, but um, so can you streamed some hots? I did not, dude. You did not I didn't have any time. No, I'm gonna make up for it this week. Okay, all right. Because yeah. you told me you were gonna stream, was... I couldn't. I couldn't catch it. So it was Fourth of July week, dude. I I ended up getting so busy, like work. I had to finish up stuff before going on vacation, and you mm -hmm. know, because I'm not working today or tomorrow. So yeah, and as you guys um... notice, I just like finished. Kind of, I, I I moved into my new place. It's not completely set up yet. It will be set up. Uh, I couldn't get those master 5k points that Aramis wanted me to do. I just didn't have the time this week. I started moving last week, and I pretty much finished the other day. I, I got internet installed here at this house yesterday, finally. So, uh, just in time. I think we could show. just call. We we could just move the challenge to next week if we really wanted to. Um. Could. Yeah. We I don't could. think any none of us did them. Yeah. So we we couldn't do it. So, um, soaking again, stream some hot stream something I all don't right care. get the people well, involved get the people i want to for soaking i'm gonna give you another challenge because it's in addition with streaming you I'm wait sure can it just be to play jimmy can i just play jimmy all the time <laughs> uh I just play jimmy. Up, this this one's good actually this one's educational and it doesn't require any here you can play jimmy the whole time and do it okay i want you to stream for an hour or two this week and then in each of those games you stream you can only comment on your own gameplay, nobody else's. You can only recognize and critique your own mistakes and how you as an individual could have changed the game regardless of everybody else. So you can't say we lost because of X, Y, Z. You can only say we lost because of me and this. And you have to ignore the rest, which is something you don't like to do. That is I want you to do that for a few games. Get an hour or two where you're saying this is on me. I, I don't think I'm that opposed to call it, saying it was my fault, but I will practice you're not that. A, you're not opposed to it, but I think you bring a lot of other people's stuff in there, and I feel like I do this too. And, and we I all do myself this. We making, all do it. Well, yeah. I noticed myself making this mistake a lot this week where I was like, okay, I'm playing my games and I'm doing things, and I'm saying it was this teammate's fault. And as a result of me blaming them, I ignored what I was doing in that moment of time that could have been different or could have been better. And I noticed that when I was going through replays with a, like a bunch of my students when I was coaching, I was like, wow, yeah, I blame this person for feeding top, but like I didn't need to be here mid soaking. I could have been in that bush anchoring. Like, yeah, they shouldn't have made the mistake and I blamed it on them and it's their fault. But 
could I have been doing something to fix that or to prevent their mistake because I'm the better player? I'm supposed to be the one that's changing the game to make it win. So what could I have done to prevent their mistake? And I feel like if I'm not blaming the other players and I'm only focusing on me, I'll see a lot more of those things. Yeah. That's okay, a, and well, that's why I had that challenge. All my, that's a good all challenge. My games, in in all, all my Jimmy games. In all your Jimmy games. I will critique my Jimmy games. play. Good. I want to I wanna watch it. I he, like it. Hero Physio in chat says when the solo lane gets ganked, it's everyone's fault. Yeah. Um, Sasa, this, that challenge goes to you too, buddy. That is a challenge <laughs> for you. I, I think that could I, be I for all stream. of us. That's, that's think, for everybody. I could, yeah, I think that's an everybody challenge. It's not just, just a soaker. I think I should do it and Goon should do it too. I think this right. should be an everybody challenge. That's the community challenge. That's the community that's challenge. That's the challenge yeah. for everybody. That's our community challenge. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. And I like it. Yeah. We're going to do that and everybody uh, should do that. And also, um, there was, I think Jigglymuff did something similar um in Discord, however, I can't pull it up without like messing up the overlay and stuff like that. But, but we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it next week. That's really interesting. And and I want to. I'm curious to see how that dynamic, that challenge, shifts our mentality or challenges our mentality and and, and what we take, what we take from it. But cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Dorsch says, is it my, still my fault when I ping danger three times, 15 seconds before he dies? Yeah. Yes, because you should have pinged 20 seconds before. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it, it, that happened today with Bacon. I said in comms, hey, Bacon, be careful, they're coming bot. 10 seconds later, they showed up bot and it killed him. And I was like, <laughs> thinking face. Uh, what could I have done? Maybe I could have said it louder. Maybe I could have scouted you know like revealed that area for him or pinged it and said it or I mean, rotate or if no you didn't clear the wave you could have rotated with it to force a skirmish if you noticed you had an advantage you could have said okay he's dead let's get some value elsewhere like knowing yeah. they're rotating bottom what did you do to get an advantage because a lot of things they talk about in hcc is when people make a full rotation you use so many resources what are you getting knowing they're using all the resources or do you just sit and clear a wave mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, true. like most he's people gonna die. let's clear this oh, wave you're gonna you're gonna die oh, oh he died let me let me go down there and just sit there and do nothing that's what i did yeah i went down there i was like damn i guess i'll try to pick up his gems i'll sit here maybe <laughs> soak this no, I could have just went top and pushed that. That wall was almost dead. I could have killed that wall. Oh, yeah. there you go. Uh, my favorite is my favorite is that they're going to die. Let's click on them, watch it, and then just slowly soak the lane while we just enjoy their death. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, Hero Physio says it's bacon. There was no hope. True. Aw. <laughs> right on, right on. But anyways, all right, guys. All right. That is our show for uh, this evening, for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out greatly appreciate it it's always a pleasure to, to come on here and and see what happens you know like this was we had we had some plan we had some stuff we wanted but it, i think it took a nice natural organic uh path and i i enjoy the the conversation we had today guys uh, i'm always i love talking about ranked stuff and and competitive modes you know i you know I, competitive for me is the pinnacle you know um I, I hope that our conversations can just motivate people to play hero league and play it to the best of their ability because i know that even just me being involved in the in the conversation makes me want to go play hero league so that I, I really like that aspect of it yeah yeah cool um real quick thank you again to our uh, all of our patreon supporters we greatly appreciate everything that you guys do uh if you guys are interested in supporting the show supporting the trolls gg network you can go to patreon.com slash trolls gg and look at all the all the information that's there uh armis Oh, and before we do that, um, Schizo did not create a thumbnail for us this week. So you don't get thanked. You don't get thanked. I'm just kidding. That was my fault. I forgot to ask him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all to listening to the Nexus Trolls, a Heroes of the Storm podcast, which we stream live on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash trolls. GG every week. Thursday. Every week. Thursdays. 9 p.m. Right Eastern. Here. 6 p.m. Pacific. Armis. Let's hear it. What's your... What's your your spiel you could find me at gg underscore aramis on twitter uh you could find me on discord i'm on the trolls discord it's aramis gg again there with a bunch of numbers um feel free to go on there send me a message about anything dms are always open you can find me on gamer sensei if you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching or coaching for your teams um same rate for everybody 
The link's right there. Sign up using that link. You get $5 towards your first lesson, plus a discount for first-time lesson purchasers. Um, so feel free to check that out. Look it up. Um, you can also find me at twitch.tv slash Aramis8. I'll be streaming next Monday once I get home from my hometown. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of educational stuff with tanking that day. So feel free to hop on in, and it'll be a good time. Awesome, awesome. Soken, where can the people find your beautiful, glorious face? At me, at SokinGLHF on Twitter. Give me your finest memes. Thank you. <laughs> and um, you can find me on Twitch at Soken Gaming. And I will, this week, make it my goal to stream more often. So I'm, I'm hoping for three days of streaming. So I'm looking at, I'm looking at like sometime over the weekend, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, or like Monday and Tuesday or something like that. And I'll announce all that on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know when I, I'm going to go for sure. Yep. I'll, uh, we'll try to retweet you via the, the trolls, the Nexus trolls as well. That way the people can see that. Right on. Uh, I can be found on Twitter at... At Goonhots, G O O N Hots, um, twitch.tv slash Goonhots, also on YouTube. I've been putting some content up there recently, uh, some videos, some Ana gameplay, some Chadgar gameplay as well. Um, <laughs> Chadgar! Uh, it, it's, it's, it's up there. Uh, some people have been commenting. They were like, hell, hell yeah, more YouTube content. Thanks, dude. Like, I've been, been looking for this, been wait, wanting this. Thank you. Uh, so go there, go subscribe. Motivate me, guys. <laughs> I'll motivate myself. Um, but yeah, uh, also, I'm trolling HGC podcast Tuesday, Tuesdays, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, next week, we will be re- announcing the winner of the BlizzCon ticket, so stay tuned for that. Also, I'd like to give a special shout-out to uh, Reborn. Reborn um, is the, the team, the amateur open division team that I managed for, used to coach for, now I'm managing for them. Um, they placed third in the Open Division Cup uh, this week. They got their they got their little their sweet paychecks from the Open Division, uh, and we got <laughs> our points. And we're gonna be back next week again to do the same thing. Maybe get first place, right? That's that's the goal. Get better. Um, nice, nice. But yeah, cool. Um, so you guys, everyone, you can subscribe to our show on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or wherever you happen to find your podcast online. Visit our website at trolls.gg slash the Nexus Trolls to watch this and past shows, along with past video streams, which can also be found on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Trolls GG. For announcements about the show and general heroes news, follow us on Twitter at Trolls at the Nexus Trolls. And if you want to hang out with us, and the Trolls community in game, you can slash join Trolls GG in game or join our Discord channel, tr- trolls.gg slash Discord. Go check it out. Get in the Discord. Join the chat channels there. Get involved. Get in there. I want to see involvement out of everybody. I want you to ask questions. I want you to flame each other. Everything. Flame each other <laughs> in, in a positive manner, right? Flame soaking for blaming his teammates. No. Uh, finally, <laughs> if you need to get in touch with us, the best way is by email. Uh, the Nexus Trolls at trolls.gg. Thank you again, everybody, from the bottom of our hearts, from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. Uh, much appreciated. I will never stop appreciating all the support that you that you guys give to us and uh, allow giving us the opportunity to the th- for the three of us, three buddies, to talk about hots every once in a while. But right on. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Take it easy. Good night, everybody. See ya. See you guys.